If you want a bit more light, you can get the two mil ones as well, and you can get it in a variety of different colors. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies, and I'm gonna do a very quick tutorial on how to solder up the Green Stuff World LEDs. So I've got a bunch of LEDs here. So Green Stuff World do make quite a few different kinds of LEDs. So there's one millimeter ones and two millimeter ones. They all work the same way in terms of uh, connecting them. So these particular ones are the tiny one mil ones. So what you find is, I think you get 10 in a packet, uh, there's various colors, and then you'll have one loose lead, which is this one, and then there's one which is being connected onto a load resistor. And that's pretty important so that the LEDs don't uh, burn out too quickly. Okay, so what I've done is I've separated one out here. Okay, so there's the LED on the end. And then it's got the fine wire attached. So you've got this one here, which is um, without the resistor, and this one here with resistor. Okay, so the resistor one is the positive, and non-resistor is the negative. So that's important because what I have here is the battery harness. So this is the easiest way of hooking it all together. So this little battery harness uses a three volt 2032 battery. So it's like one of these. It's little button batteries you can get from any uh, uh, supermarkets would have it. Hardware store, electronic stores. So this is handy because with these two components alone, once you join them together, you'll be able to get them to work and it's got a built-in on-off switch right here. Okay, so let's get into the soldering. So let me just get into here. Now we're just going to tin the tips. So if you don't know what I mean by tinning, I've already explained it in another video that I did not so long ago. So tinning is basically just putting a little bit of solder on the each bit of wire. Let me just see if I can get this around here. All right, so this just helps it all join together when we heat them. All right, so I've done that on the end of the resistor. Right, let's see if I can pick this up. There we go. All right, end of there. And then we'll do the same with the harness here. Okay, so basically each bit of this wire is coated with a thin bit of um, uh, solder. Now usually I would use some heat shrink as well. So you see heat shrink here, which is um, insulated the switch. Uh, I would normally put it on and then once I've soldered it up, uh, I'll seal it up. But I'll leave it without it so it's a bit easier to see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the negative one here. Now let's see if I can pick this up. So fine. All right, I got that. Let's just bend this so it's a bit elevated so I don't burn the table. All right, so I'm just going to hold these two together and then we'll just solder them together. Oh, well, it's tagged on there. Okay, so it's joined up. And then we'll do the same thing with the positive. Okay, so let's bend that again. Don't want to burn the table. That's all right. Oh, maybe that will. All right, and again, we just hold those two together. Apply the soldering iron. Okay. Oh, that's not joined. Getting them joined is important. Okay, now they're joined. Okay, so we've got the positive joined. We've got the negative joined. Oh, negative is not joined. All right. So it always helps to give them a little bit of a tug to make sure you've got a good connection. Sometimes fine wires can be a bit tricky. All right, so it's joined up. It's joined up. All right. So I don't need the soldering iron anymore. All right, so we've got all that wired up. Let me just point the LED towards you so it might be a bit easier to see. So the light's going to come out of there. So all we need to do is connect this battery into this harness. Okay, so when you see the harness, there's a positive on one side. And you want to make sure that you've got the positive here on the correct side. If you've got the wrong way around, it simply won't light up because LEDs are a diode. And then we just press this, hold that down. There you go, it's on. How impressive is that? And then obviously press it again. Oh, oh that wasn't too clever, was it? That's not soldered on too well. All right, that's easy enough to fix. But you've got the basic gist of it anyway. So let's just make this more permanent. 
So you find wires can be a bit tricky. All right, we'll try that again. There you go. And there's your little LED, it's all lit up. Tiny one mil LED. If you want a bit more light, you can get the two mil ones as well. And you can get it in a variety of different colors. So that's on, just press this, it's off. On again, there you go, simple. And so that's my tutorial on how to connect up the green stuff LED systems. So you've got the battery harness, you just need to get the battery, which is the CR2032 button battery. And then you choose the variety of different LEDs and then solder them together. I'll put a heat shrink on them, that'll be handy. And then that's ready to go. Uh, actually, before we finish up, if you want to use multiples, you can solder on multiples to the one battery. Just means they're going to be drawing more power. So for instance, this one LED should last about 12 hours continuously on the one battery. If you use two LEDs, you divide that by the number of LEDs. So that's only going to be six hours. So there you go, very simple.